Hi, uh, I'm here in Glenbuck in Ayrshire um, to do the River Ayr Way, which is uh, one of Scotland's great trails. It's 66 kilometres long. We're going to do it bike packing um, with one night, two days. Over here's my bike. This is the Genesis Longitude. And I've got various packs on there to help me along the way. A um, couple of facts to the trail here. Where the trail starts is up here. Um, at the Bill Shankly Memorial Bill Shankly the manager for Liverpool football team I am um, not long started the trail but I wanted to stop just to show you something I've came across which is an elephant hawk moth um, I'll get down low here see quite a colourful moth, it's like green and pink uh, further on down the trail now um, just so wanted to stop and show you this bit. <clears throat> this here is actually the, if you can see, the sun's quite bad. It's actually the old platform from Glenbuck Station. So the River Air Way follows the River Air from its source down to the sea. And the first part of it goes along here, which is the old Caledonian railway track. So you see quite a lot of old kind of railway artifacts there. So as we said, the river, um, well, the trail follows the river from source down to the sea. This is actually the first glimpse you get of the river. You can see it's really thin, small burn, and as you progress down, that'll get much wider. Okay, uh, I've arrived here in Sorn a lot later than I expected. Um, so I'm going to camp here for tonight. It's probably just around the halfway mark, um, so I'm just going to pitch my tent just here because it's getting really dark. Okay, so it's um, 5 a.m. on day two. Yeah, this is actually where we camped last night. It was kind of dark when I arrived, so I think a good chance to show it. Um, this is us. This is the actual trail here we're on. So we just camped right next to it. Um, just a little tip, usually when I go out mountain biking or um, bike packing, I take this, which is a water filter. Um, this end here goes into your water, whether it's a river, whatever, um, and then this pumps through a filter and it comes out the end, so it's drinkable. The idea was if we're going to go down a river, um, I could drink that water. However, the river here is not drinkable even with a filter. So last night I had to go and buy um, four bottles of water uh, from the local hotel in Sorn. Um, without that, I would have no water left. So if you're coming to do this, the main tip is this probably isn't going to work. The water in the river is really, really bad. It's um, bright green, toxic algae. So um, make sure you carry enough water or go near hotels and shops when they're open so first obstacle of the day is this there's loads of these along this route that really become obstructive to folk in a bike Quite a big staircase here, so we have to go off and lift the bike up. It, I think. Hi, uh, I just thought I'd stop and take a look at what the river looks like now uh, compared to where it was when we first started. You can see it's a pretty big size, it's gathered all the way since Glenbuck. Another thing I was probably going to point out is. If you're going to do this trail and rely solely on the way markers, then you're probably going to struggle sometimes. Um, a lot of them are worn away, a lot of them aren't there anymore. Um, so it's good to have a backup map or a lot of the apps out there on the websites that have it. Have a good kind of Google Maps type trail and a GPX file that you can uh, follow.
Okay, that's us finally arrived here in the air, our destination at the end of this river.